So I have a question for you guys. A few months ago, I introduced you to a member of the family, Loki, a new cat. And I'll put an asset up somewhere so you can see her just a few months ago. And I don't know anything about cats. And so I always come to you guys when I have cat questions. I have a very good one today. You ready? What kind of cat is this? She's huge. I have no idea what happened. Gizmo has not grown this fast. I don't think it's a cat. I, I think she's, I don't know, like a bobcat or a lynx or something. What are you? She's giant. And I don't know how that happened. And also she's got a lot of stuff in her fur. It's not because we don't take care of her. It's because I just saw her rolling around in construction debris that we were trying to sweep up because she loves doing that too. So yeah, no, help, please. Well, what kind of very large cat do I have here? I'm gonna let her down. She's not real happy. Thank you. That of course has nothing to do whatsoever with what we are doing today, but I have questions and you guys always have the answers. I will tell you what we are doing in just a minute, but before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for day 192 of 365 days of soap. And I'm not actually in the Pacific Northwest today. I am in Napa, having a little mini vacay with Mr. Soap and Clay. And I wanted to talk about why, you know, I'm able to get away in December, the busy season, with you guys because I think that's an interesting thing to think about, to talk about, and maybe we can all kind of take some of this information and use it for our next season, especially if there are any of you guys that are really, really strung out right now and are not sleeping and are super stressed. So let's get to the video. Let's chit chat about why I am in Napa right now and uh, what changes I made to my business to have allowed me to do so this year. We're just doing all kinds of shop talks this week. And that's the bro code. You guys, you're gonna watch a beautiful butterfly swirl inside of that one that we're just cutting. We're just cutting some, some soaps today and just talking shop in this little itty bitty baby video. And the reason why is uh, because I am not currently at my residence slash place of business. Mr. Soap and Clay and I are in Napa. And so I wanted to talk about why that is. I, I kind of found that that would be kind of a fitting thing to do today because of the way that I, that's pretty, of the way that I made changes in how I do holidays this year, I was a sort of, I was sort of as a result afforded time to take a little mini vacation, just a couple days, in the middle of the week, with Mr. Soap and Clay, instead of breaking my neck right up until December 24th. And so I wanted to talk about that and sort of the things that I noticed with this holiday versus last holiday or many of the years of holidays before this, and also kind of get a, a read on how your holiday season went 
slash has gone. I mean, there are still a crap ton of orders coming in. I probably have, uh, last I checked, like 113 to fill when I get back. But that's okay. It's dying down. It's dying down a whole lot more than... Uh, it's not nearly as crazy with the orders as it was, you know, mid-November when we started 10 Days of Thanks and also dropped the holiday line and the discount codes that would normally be reserved for Small Business Saturday at that time. So the bulk of my orders came in before Thanksgiving, before Small Business Saturday. And so as a result, yeah, I am experiencing lower levels of stress than I normally do. Normally, come, you know, mid-December, I'm losing my mind. Things are not good. I'm not sleeping. I'm super stressed. I'm super bummed. It's all wild. So yeah, no stress. Well, less stress, more sleep, and I'm not bummed that I'm missing out on anything that my uh, kiddos want to do during this holiday season. And so that's been really, really good. And I guess, you know, I want to kind of talk about why and the things that I think are different from last year to this year. It's certainly not a busyness difference. Um, as far as the amount of money made during this time, I am making just slightly more this year. I would say there was maybe a 4% increase from last year's sales. And last year's sales, I also had a brick and mortar. Now, I was not doing classes, and that usually does give me a huge bump in the you know year, but or in the end of year. But I did have the brick and mortar and the retail. The retail has successfully completely moved over to the online space, and I have not noticed a change at all this year. So it's not an issue of me being less busy. I think it's more of an issue of me getting my shit together earlier, allowing the customers to shop more at their leisure instead of really forcing all Sudzers into this, you know, small business Saturday is going to be when the big sales go on. Because in all honesty, most people are not shopping for soap on Black Friday or small business Saturday, right? They are they are shopping for soap before then. During Black Friday and Small Business Saturday, they are shopping for the big ticket items. And soap is not a big ticket item. So allowing them to have that good sale code and do that, you know, in a period essentially two weeks leading up to Small Business Saturday for sure helped. Another thing that I noticed really helped out this year is I managed my holiday line a lot better. Usually I will have something like 40 different offerings for the holiday line. This year, I think I had maybe 14 and they were all sets. I didn't actually do individual anythings with any of the products. I also kept my entire line to just four cents, really, four beautiful cents that really, I mean, I guess eight because we did the coffee house too. And I guess technically speaking, we had a couple gift sets, whatever. The actual holiday line four main scents, right? And that definitely helped streamline everything. Uh, another thing was I had my entire holiday line figured out and made by August, which is a couple months earlier than I normally am able to say that. And not only did I have it made, I had in mind exactly how many like gift sets of a four pack of the holiday soaps I wanted to sell, exactly how many gift sets of the coffee house soaps I wanted to sell. And knowing that I went ahead and also boxed them up and labeled them, which was something that I hadn't really done before just because I was also offering, you know, each of these soaps can also be purchased individually. I didn't do that this year. This is the year of sets, or this is the season of sets, right? Not that sets don't sell well throughout the entire year, because they do, but this year I decided to just do away with the singles altogether, and people can buy the sets. And bought them, they did. So it worked out that I could put 100% of my inventory 100% in their finished packaging, 
So all of the soaps are banded. They are all in their boxes. The boxes all have the labels on them. Everything is packed up, ready for shipping, because also I know that I'm going to be shipping. So we're going to, you know, ship. And so there's extra packaging that needs to go into each of the boxes, all ready to go. So really, I guess the real reason why the holiday went so well this year and I am able to breathe come mid-December is because I managed my time properly in the summer. And so to that, we should all maybe think about doing that next year. And I will try to remind, you know, come July, that Christmas in July really isn't to start celebrating Christmas. It's more to start getting yourself ready for the busy season so you can enjoy the busy season and not feel really scrambled and stressed. But I would like to know how you guys have been doing for the makers and the sellers and all the things out there. How has your season been? Are you stressed right now? Let's all drink some water and have a chat in the comments. You know, I'll be doing so while I am in a hot tub with Mr. Soap and Clay drinking some wine from Napa. So, because that's where I'm at. I'm in Napa. So it's a, it's a good time. But yeah, that's a... Uh, Let's say 192. I really do want to know how your guys' holiday season has been going, and we can talk and commiserate and celebrate together. And there it is, some random musings from me not really doing work in the middle of December. And yeah, no, I think that that's actually a pretty cool thing to be able to say. I really think that a lot of the things that I did in August and really with the packaging and with the streamlining of my inventory this year and also the knowing how to say no really has helped me get to a place that right now at the end of the mad rush I'm able to just leave for a couple days and be okay and I think for our mental health we should all just be able to leave when we really need to but this year I just wanted to I didn't have any stress levels that were making me need to go do something. It was just, this is something that I wanted to do and I was able to do so because things were more streamlined. So that's that. I'm actually gonna take off because I wanna go finish my awesome time in Napa. So I'm gonna go do that. Take all this stuff down. You know, obviously this is all pre-filmed because I'm in Napa and I did not bring my cat with me. I really do appreciate you guys joining me for another round of 365 Days of Soap. A special thanks to my Sudzers. You guys rock each and every day. Appreciate you more than anything else, except for my husband, who I'm going to go hang out with. But I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.